<laughs> in three, two, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Zachary Reality. It is Zachary Reality. And we have a lovely special guest today, Gabrielle or Gabby from Love Undercover on Peacock. How are you doing? I'm great. I feel so good. I'm good. I'm Yes. I met you briefly at the premiere party last week, and I only saw a few episodes at that time, but now I'm all caught up, and I was really sad that you went home this week, so I got to know how you are feeling since the elimination, since the show came out, and everything. I am feeling very nostalgic watching the episodes back, so it's it's a lot of mixed feelings. I feel like watching it back is, of course, it's sad, because you're like... Mm. <laughs> like you have to see that happen to yourself all over again but I feel excited at the same time just to like see everything play out you live this like whole experience and then no one knew no one saw anything you can't really describe it to people I can't really describe it to my mom and my sister now they finally get to see it I'm like that's why I was feeling what I was feeling so people get to like actually see it so it's kind of exciting of course but sad yeah is it is it sadder to like live the breakup in real life or was it sadder to watch it on tv Oh, it was definitely sadder to live it in real life, for sure. Yeah. It was just such a buildup of emotions. And then when it finally erupted, it was just like, I don't even know what to say. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, for the fans who watch at home, um, Gabby went on a date with Lloyd. They had an early connection and it seems like he was really into you and he was really vibing with you. But he did have a lot of other girls that were interested in him. So I'm sure it was really difficult to, you know, date someone, but then they're dating someone else the next day. So what was that kind of process like? So the process for me coming in um, early on with the first set of girls, it was more like we had no idea why well, I didn't have any idea that they were going to be bringing on like a whole bunch of other girls. So for me, in the beginning, when we first went on that first date, and then we had a second date, and then we were hanging out, we were chilling, it was just like this consistency that was just like, oh, like, this is so nice. And then the bomb dropped that they were going to, well, they already brought in new girls at one point, but then the bomb dropped that they were going to choose, like it was voice pick, who was mm. going to be in the house. So that's when everything kind of flipped for me. And I think I even said it. I was like, oh, my God, I'm shook. So the process went from, like, lazy river. Like, I was just coasting along, like, chilling. And then all of a sudden, it was, like, triggered. And yeah. it was um, it was heavy. Yeah, I mean, that's got to suck because it's not like you don't even have time to move on because he's like moving on right in front of you. Do you feel like your relationship like hit an end or do you think he was excited about new girls? Do you think yours was just kind of, you know, at a stale point? Like, why do you think he ended things? Um, I do think that we were going so well um, for considering the circumstances for a while mm -hmm. and then my energy not that I'm like blaming myself but you do take accountability for some small pieces that you remember I do remember because of the boys pick situation with who's moving in when I had heard that my energy did s switch a little bit um because obviously you get a little bit insecure your confidence doesn't totally tank but you're just kind of like oh okay this has changed and yeah so I think that with my energy changing combined with the fact that he had all of these girls at his I don't want to say disposal but they were there yeah <laughs> they the were fighting day. for him right and so energy plus all of his choices and he's on a show and he's this like cute guy on a show with all these options and then third just the fact that at a certain point I didn't chase because that's not not a, in a flex way yeah. but I, that's not what I'm used to I'm not used to I'm used to putting in effort. I'm a little aggressive, you know, I'm a little Jersey girl, but I don't chase that much. Mm -hmm. I'd rather you come to me. You know where I'm at. Yeah. And you he knows me at this party, you know where I am. I mean, he knows exactly where you are. You're in the house. I mean, it's a big house though. So maybe, you know, you can get lost, but I feel like <laughs> at, this, at this point, like you're, you're going to give it your all. You're just going to be yourself. Things were going well. Like it, it just sucks that like, this is the situation because maybe things could have gotten better and progressed if there wasn't other girls around. I also want to add that it's not just about personality and not chasing. It's also logic. Like you're just trying to be also intelligent at that point. Like, okay, in your past experience, what has happened when you've been around a really handsome guy that has a lot of girls like on him and what's like 
what would you think would be smart to do at this point? Is it smarter just to be another girl after there's like five of them that just came up to him and be like, hey, even if you were an original connection, mm -hmm. even if you were like the first one, like, what do you, how does that feel to him? There's yeah. so much going on. You're just like, okay, maybe I shouldn't do anything because it might push him away. So at mm -hmm. that moment, that's what I was thinking. I think that's what like was missed when I was explaining yeah. myself, wasn't saying it. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you did anything wrong. I, I agree with you. Like, I don't want to date someone who's dating other people, like whether we're on a show or not. Like, I'm not fighting for your attention. Like, no. Yeah. So I like that you have that perspective because like it is what it is. But do you regret maybe not going for another guy? Because we saw Renee, she had an interesting strategy where she was like, you know, Jamie's funny and, you know, I'm not going to go for a girl like Sebastian or a guy like Sebastian or Lloyd. Like, let me kind of go for someone more low key. Right. Um, I did not have a strategy my strategy as like innocent as this sounds I don't know I just came on there like if I get a connection from the beginning which I did it was kind of like well why jump ship when it's like great mm -hmm. when you could jump ship onto another ship that could sink it could be the Titanic and then what you screwed it up just so you could have options it's like the best is the enemy of the good mm -hmm. like if it's already great why am I running to someone like that's just not who I am. So I was taking the risk of like not having strategy, but our connection was so great. It was like, I didn't see the reason why. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you got closure from Lloyd or maybe like closure watching it back? Or if you've been able to speak to him since, you know, the breakup? I mean, in general, I've spoken to kind of all the guys. Plus we saw each other at the premiere and everything's like very chill, very cool. I speak to everyone, but as far as watching the episode, finding like closure that's a lot i'm yeah. still processing it because they also just came out and i'm reliving it kind of in a way mm -hmm. all over again so yeah. i don't know but i do yeah. speak to everyone i've spoken that yeah cool. I, I, I speak to everybody okay so watching it um who do you think he's gonna pick um do you is are you, are you shocked that him and jacqueline kind of like became a little bit flirty after they started as friends like what do you want to see for lloyd in the future of the show I mean, I was shocked. I think I expressed that too in an interview. I was very shocked that he was flirting and being like around Jacqueline like that because her and I, not that she owes me anything, but her and I were really close from the beginning. She's also mm. one that came in with me early on mm. and I just didn't see it coming. So I was like, whoa, okay. But at the same time, it's like, how offended could you possibly be in a process like this? It's like, that was her choice. Yeah. I was Wait, what was your second question? I Sorry. was going to say, like, maybe who you're rooting for. Like, oh. as far as with Lloyd, or maybe he's, like, someone else on the show. Um, obviously, we can't say too much. The finale's coming out. But, like, who do you want to see flourish, I guess? Especially, like, where you were at when you were leaving the show. I mean, when it comes to Lloyd in particular, I am in a strange spot. So, saying who I hope that he picks outside or picked mm -hmm. outside of me, like, after I left, I don't really know. That's fair. How to that because it's kind of it's such a I know it's such a human answer like I'm supposed to be like, <laughs> but honestly I don't even know how to answer that I left um I hugged everyone it was like very like peaceful chill but when you watch the episodes of, like what people were saying about you when you were leaving and certain things you're just like okay I don't hate you or anything it's cool you're we under like massive stress mm -hmm. but I don't know if I'm I'm always gonna root for me like yeah period. and as far as the other girls but the other guys Everybody else was chill. I hope that everybody is happy. That's fair. And of course, I want him to be happy. I'm not I'm not that selfish. I want him to be happy. <laughs> I love that. Now, you are a Jersey girl, so I was wondering your take on the Sebastian and Jacqueline fight. He didn't call her an asshole. He said that she was being an asshole in that moment. It's like an asshole for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was kind of one of, that was maybe one of the biggest blow ups of so far of the season. And I got a lot of people talking, like, where do you, what do you think about that? What did you think about the fight? I think that Sebastian is like another me. Mm -hmm. I say a lot of things and English is my first language. Because I, I remember he was saying like, that was part of the reason why it came out bad. Mm -hmm. But Sebastian is like another me. I spend my entire life like defending myself because I'm like, no, I didn't say you were. I said you were acting like one. Mm -hmm. I understood that. But a lot of other people that are just like black and white thinking, not that colorful, they're just mm -hmm. like, no, you called her an asshole. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> like, but he might, I don't think he meant it. Like I, I get what he was saying. But mm -hmm. I, of course, don't like the fact that she felt disrespected 
regardless mm. of who she ended up dating at one point or another. Like she's another girl. I'm not a I'm not a girl hater. That's hurtful, yeah. too, especially in a stressful situation where you think you're about to get moved into the house with the guy you like, and then all of a sudden you have a fight. That's like, whew. yeah, I've had those moments. Like mm -hmm. it's like pulling your chest. It's it's very stressful. So yeah. Um, this question is from my friend Trina. Shout out Trina. She was on Love Island. She was like, um, I was talking to her on the phone and she wanted me to ask, did you guys know that these guys were famous or had money or like, did you think that something was fishy the whole time just because you're on a show? Like, what did you really think? You know, I had no idea. Let me just tell you, I was probably the most clueless one of okay. them all. <laughs> I don't watch sports. I'm in the U.S. where, like, football, a.k.a. soccer, is not, like, a huge, huge, huge thing. And I'd say the only thing when I look back that's kind of funny to me that should have been, like, a... It really isn't, but it should have been a, a thing for me to look out for. Lloyd's jacket. He sm All of them. They smelled so good. Particularly him. He had this cologne that was so, like, strong. It made the whole room smell like him. And I remember mm. thinking like, that costs money. I just remember thinking like, that costs money. Yeah. And that was it. Like I, but other than that, not a thing. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I mean, in uh, whatever he was yeah. or training or whatever, it, no idea. I didn't even know what that was. Yeah. So what did you, I was like, oh, that's cute. Uh huh. So what did you think when he told you? And also, what did you think of the other girls being told, like watching the show and seeing everyone's mixed reactions? Okay, so after living it myself. Um, so first, when it happened to me, and he told me in a respectful way, I did not care. Yeah, not trying to disrespect the accomplishments that they've had, um, or that he's had. But by that point, I was so spent. And I was so emotionally invested that that mm. was the last thing on my mind. I barely even remember him saying it, to be honest. Like rewatching it, I was like, blur. Cause I was just, my heart was broken. So I was just like, I don't You're like, know. what else do you want from me? Like, just let me go home. Like, if you're not coming back here to take me back, I don't wanna hear it. Yeah, that's <laughs> Honestly, fair. Vulnerable moment. That's all you're thinking. You're like, why is he walking in here? Like what else is there to say? What you else ready? Is there to say? Yeah, you picked your lane. Like, Stick with it. You're not gonna get me back. Uh, so yeah, I really. But at the same time, I remember thinking like, okay, that's kind of cool though. Let me not be like, you know. I was just like, that's cool, but I wouldn't have cared like if you were a, a janitor. Like I don't. Yeah. I wouldn't have cared what you did. Yeah. Okay. Um, a couple more questions before we go. Um. What was one moment on the show that maybe was cut out or a moment that we didn't get to see of you, like something or maybe your favorite moment from the show? Like what was kind of a highlight for you doing this experience? Um, oh, that's a hard one. There's so many moments that I could look back and be like, I wish I saw that. Can I name two? Yeah. One was definitely um, all the partying with the girls, I have to say, was like some of the because they have to respect everyone's journey. So all you mm -hmm. see is the love. But like there was love there, too. Like. I partied like crazy in those cocktail parties. <laughs> and it was so fun, even with the guys. Mm -hmm. And then two, this is a little, when I got broken up with, um, they showed scenes of like all of the, you know, I was calm because I was in shock partially, but I also said a lot of things to him about my experience, like just telling him like, hey, I think you're kind of, you're kind of dumb. Like you're making a dumb decision. Mm -hmm. And I remember saying that a couple of times and I'm like, okay, they can't put in everything that I say because it's just so, it's so much going on. But I remember thinking like, hmm, they should have put that in there. Cause that was the one time where I actually like expressed myself past being very chill and very respectful and very like, cause I'm a little spicy, mm -hmm. but I felt because I was under so much stress, <laughs> anxiety kills the, the personality sometimes. So yeah. yeah. Kind of like, oh, I'm going to tell him off a little bit. And I didn't see it. I was like, okay, mm. I, I'm good with that too. I'm glad that we didn't end on like awful terms. For sure. I'm proud of both sides. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I love it so much. Um, did I see that you do music? Are you a singer? Yes. Oh, that should have been number three. Duh. Oh, Can yeah. You... I sang nonstop. Cameras rolling. I sang with Ryan all the time. Had no idea. Like he was into me. Like nothing. I sang Disney all day. I used to sing, start like little sing-alongs in the bathroom with the girls getting dressed. Like I am a writer. 
Mm. Um, I'm a writer, I'm a singer. Yeah. So I went on there talking about it a lot, but our actual occupations, like <laughs> on paper, <laughs> were the ones that we spoke about a lot. But yeah, I'm I'm a songwriter. Well, I want to know where everyone can follow you, um, listen to your music, find you, give us all the rundown. So my name is Gabrielle Finley. I am a songwriter, singer, and my music is on all streaming platforms. I have two EPs out. I'm about to release another single and I do a lot on the inside. Mm. So coming soon. And my Instagram is Gab Sway, G-A-B-S-W-E-A-Y. I love it. Well, I'll put it down in the link below. Everybody go follow Gabby. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Appreciate your insight. I loved watching you on the show and I'm anxiously awaiting to see what happens with the last two episodes. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Love you. All right. I love you too. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.